Yes, people. This is your little brother, Mogi. I am back again. And uh, today, I am operating in this area of Bukaya. And uh, as usual, in my episodes of showing you houses that are available for rent, I have come to see these three unit houses and uh, each unit is two bedrooms, you know, so these are two bedroom houses and uh, there are three units sharing the same compound in this area of Bukaya. You know what I'm saying? So please enjoy this video and uh, yeah, support. I appreciate your feedback uh, in terms of comments. I appreciate when you like the video, you know, and uh, share the video just showing you these houses where you can stay at, you know, instead of living at a hotel when you decide to come to Uganda or those in Uganda who are looking for a place to move to. So Bukaya, you can definitely come down. So guys, enjoy this video. All right, guys, so we are still in this area called Vukaya. Did you just No. No. It's okay. Okay, so we are still in this area of Vukaya. Yeah, Mr. Mukasa, yeah, what, what can you tell the people about this area of Vukaya? Pokaya is a very nice place. Uh -huh. Diplomatic. Uh -huh. Diplomatic. Diplomatic. What do you mean? Uh, the when diplomatic. You say diplomatic. Diplomatic is a, a, a high noble people. They are standard people. High standard, pe standard high people. Standard people. people. <laughs> Living it. Uh, okay, mm. okay, guys. So, yeah. uh, what about the low standard people? Ah, uh, uh, those are Ambiko. <laughs> Ambiko Bukembe. So, <laughs> are they but are they welcome in this area? For us we welcome in diplomatic people. Only diplomatic. Only diplomatic. People. Yeah man, mm. guys. Yeah. This is mm. Mr. Mukasa. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and he says if you're so what are you if you're not diplomatic? Of course diplomatic is something you know no, that no. Ah. what I'm saying. Mm. What is the opposite of diplomatic? So diplomatic. if people are not diplomatic, what are they? Automatically, you are not afford the place. You can't afford. You the, can't uh, afford the place. Hmm? Wow, wow. Mm. <laughs> so, guys, according <laughs> to Mr. Mukasa, if you're not diplomatic, you're not welcome in this area. Yeah. Uh, so we have come to see uh, some houses here, and uh, we are going to be showing you. This is for the diplomatic okay. people yeah. only. Non-diplomatic. Uh, maybe. Wait another time. <laughs> ah, that's uh, that's funny to me. Uh, yeah, just to let you know, we are still in uh, this area of Bukaya, uh, and according to Mr. Mukasa, this is an area for the diplomatic people. And if you're not diplomatic, apparently you cannot afford living in this area. Okay. So let us see these uh, three, three units of houses here. My man is having trouble opening the, the locks of, of the gate. Security plus. So from the look of things, security here is very tight. Uh, it's uh, monitored or it's under a private security company that are responsible for the security here. So there is three units inside this uh, compound that we are about to see. Yeah, Mr. Mukasa, yes, 
how many uh, how many bedrooms are we about to look two. at? Two bedroom two bedroom two bedroom houses. Each each apartment is two bedroom, two bedrooms. Uh, guys, the drama is still going on. My man. Still failing to look at that fighter jet. What the hell is it? Tamani in his moonzoe. Ah, but you bully the way written when we are gate. The jet done disappeared. Uh -huh. Another guy. There you go. One shot and uh, it opened. So, anyway, let me show the compound. This is the compound. Uh -huh. Let us proceed. Mr. Mukasa, please lead us. Here is where we left off. Let me start from the from the back. I am going to go into one house and uh, show you what's inside there. And uh, what you see in one of the houses, they are all similar. They are identical. All three of them, they are the same. So what you see in one of them is uh, what you should expect for all three of them. So this is the backyard. And uh, yeah, what I like about this house is there is a big water reservoir. Uh, so they collect rainwater into this big tank and you can use it to do various things as you may want. Then it's also very beautiful. Hmm? You see these trees? They're very wonderful. I like them. And uh, this right here is the pit latrine. That's the pit latrine. And uh, it's time to go in and show you. That has been the compound. It's time to go in and show you inside the houses, the rooms. Mm -hmm. So, you see there is some furniture. I don't know what's up with the furniture, whether it's available, you know, to be bought or... Um, uh, okay. Then there are also these beautiful wall hangings of uh, artistic impressions i really i really like them they are very wonderful very amazing so this is the living room um, so what is this i guess this is the the master bedroom looks very looks big in size very big okay ah yeah wardrobes very big in size massive and what do we have here looks like kitchen okay that's right this is the kitchen i don't know what the hell this is but i guess it can be moved out uh, this is the kitchen people uh, okay this is our kitchen guys
bathroom and toilet. Here we go. This is our bathroom and toilet. And now, the final room is our second bedroom. This is our second bedroom, guys. There is some furniture. There is a bed frame right there, mattresses as well. I guess these furniture will just be moved out when the house is taken. So there you go. In the first bedroom, you don't. There is no toilet or bathroom. What you have is um, wardrobes. You know that storage area for clothes. And then in this second bedroom that we just saw, there is no wardrobes but uh, there is a toilet and bathroom so anyway guys let me know if you like this house i'm just going to head over there and chat to mr mukasa about um about the prices of the rent but uh showing you the the yard one more time there's liquor garden and there you have it. Yes, yeah, so Mr. Mukasa, we're still rolling people with uh, Elder, Mr. Mukasa, his name. So talk to, talk to us about uh, the prices. What is the rent? 550. 550,000 Uganda shillings. Shilings, yes. And, um, that is approximately 160 US dollars around that area. So we have three units and uh, one of the three units is occupied and uh, there is two available. Yes. And uh, each of the two is 550,000 Uganda shillings, approximately 160 US dollars. Uh, two bedrooms and a living area, kitchen as well and uh that comes with security guys the extra bills you know water bill electric city bills you come with your own meter you get your own meter <laughs> no you don't come with your own meter to install in the house but the yeah. house has a meter. Only meter yeah has Power a and meter. water yeah forgive me for the language man we we are struggling with uh with this english language and sometimes we miscommunicate things. But uh, I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So is there anything that uh, people should know about these two units that are available? The reason why I showed you just one unit, this one, is because they are all similar. They are all identical. Okay? So what you see in one is what is in the other. So there is no reason to go into the other. But uh, what you should know is there is two available, and uh, there you go. The rent is the same. So is there any other detail that people should know? He has a security. Security? Security guard. Okay. Okay. Keeping this place. Right. At, at night. Okay. Mm. That's a good thing. Mm. And uh, in terms of um, how many months initial payment? Payment. Mm-hmm. Three months onwards. Hey, okay. Mm. So unlike the other houses that I have been showing you where the owners require that you pay at least six months or 12 months. So this, you know. Three months, four months. I'm sorry. Five months. So here you're required to pay initially three months and then you can take the house. And then wh uh, what about the subsequent months? Pay one one or two two. It oh. depends. Depend. It depends. Mm -hmm. So this one, after the initial period of three months, 
then you can pay one month, one month, you know, like that. Yeah. Ah, uh, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. Always, I encourage you to support me. You know what I'm saying? So that I can continue doing what I do. Peace. We're out.